All right guys, I made it onto the train with a couple minutes to spare, finally moving. I'm actually on my way back to Ashford, which is where I was for my previous clinical placement, the peripheral clinical placement. And I'm going there because that's where my final year four OSCEs are. If you haven't seen my previous video, you should go check that one out. But I've got a couple of resources with me here that I'm gonna be studying with on the train. Okay, man, I'm studying in like half an hour or whatever, it's not much. I might do a tiny bit more after I settle in and have dinner once I get to the accommodation, but we'll see how I feel. All right, so we've made it to Ashford and there's a little bit of sunshine left. I've realized I didn't actually tell you guys how our OSCEs are gonna work. So we have three days of practical exams. Each day, we're gonna have a history station, a communication station, and then also an assessment station. And what an assessment station is, is a mixture of a history and a practical skill, or a history and an examination. They're here. What's good? Rachel, just hold off this for a second. Um, <laughs> I just actually <laughs> recorded <laughs> my face. Please put that on. <laughs> back here. I really thought we had left this place for good. The good news is I've got a wonderful view. That is really quite nice. Got some food for tonight, breakfast for tomorrow, etc. That's not a good sign. And that is definitely not a good sign. Clearly I'm very good at this. So the thing is guys, the one thing that is bothering me is that there's no fan and it is really hot right now. Last time we were here, there was a fan. If you remember from my previous vlog, I'll put a little video of it here. I do not sleep well if I'm warm, so we'll see what to do about that. Anyways, let me go take all this food that I've got behind me, put it in the kitchen. That is the next step. I got a haircut this morning and this just keeps sticking out to the side and it won't go down. All right, whatever, it's staying. So I just had dinner, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty tired, but there's just a few things that I wanna go through before I go to sleep. Final, just the cherry on top, the icing on the cake, blah, 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 let's see what we've got. I wanna have a look at CT scans, learn the scars, most common scars, and then have a read through the do not attempt resuscitation form. So just a couple more things, 15, 20 minutes, hopefully, and then I'm out. This is what it looks like, in case you guys are wondering. That is it. I'm finished going through my scriptly to-do list. This is my schedule. This is what it's looked like over the last couple of weeks. Tomorrow is OSCE day number one. Can't believe we've actually made it to here. I just keep trying to remind myself that I've actually spent a lot of time studying. I've gone through many different scenarios and you know, hopefully anything that I see tomorrow, I will have, if not done before, have done something similar or have a framework to work through it in a systematic way. That's my hope. Wish me luck. See you tomorrow. <sighs> the adrenaline is kicking in properly. I'm gonna go make some breakfast, chill out, watch something, enjoy myself, relax, and just chill for a bit before the exam starts. Here's the plan. Let, let me break the plan down for you. I'm gonna finish this cup of coffee. I'm gonna go fix my hair, obviously. <laughs> gonna go brush my teeth, get dressed, just sit down and pray to the Oski gods over and over again before it's time to go out. Cheers, guys. Breakfast finished, hair finished, time to get dressed. That could have been a disaster. What do we think? Good exam shirt? Let me know. Shoes time.
the outfit has been assembled. We've got shirt, brown belt, beige pants, light navy blue socks, and brown shoes. Quite happy with that. But to make sure the fit is complete, I've got to put on the whole shebang. This is what I'm going to be looking like in all my stations with gloves and an apron. <sighs> The heart is racing. The heart is racing. This is when I wish I had a beta blocker to take to calm myself down, make my heart chill a little bit. But I'm asthmatic. And obviously, as we know, beta blockers are contraindicated in asthmatics. So I take the L on that one. That's it. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. This is it. Rachel and I walking to our, feels like our deathbed. <laughs> The butterflies have hit, the adrenaline is running, but we've done everything we can, right? This yeah. is, any last words? It's all about mentality. It's all about mentality. <laughs> facts, absolute facts. All right, catch you guys after the exam. God, day one is over. <laughs> it's over. All right, so that is Day one finished. What a roller coaster, honestly. I think it went well. I was really, really freaked out after doing one of the stations, an ATE assessment station, but then I got some feedback from the examiners and they said many, many good things. So I feel a lot more relaxed about that. <sighs> Here's the plan. We're gonna hit Tesco, then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna get studying one day at a time. Two more days. Two more days. All right, guys. This is Rachel, first of all. Hello. You guys will have seen her in previous vlogs. <laughs> so we just finished day one of our Oskis. We had three stations. How did it go? It was okay. I feel like it's hard to tell. But we were just saying, weren't we, that the hot feedback you get is really good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm so much more likely to forget something during the actual exam. Like, whereas when we're yeah, practicing these so scenarios true. at home, you know, you don't forget anything. You've got your acronyms, everything's going well, but then yeah. something will throw you off and you'll just forget to ask it. But also you always remember what you don't do and not what you do do. And actually, if I think about this year compared to second year, we've stepped it oh, up. Oh, oh yeah. Stepped up. Like no, if I'd obviously. seen that ECG yeah. <laughs> second year. That's like, true. We actually no. read that ECG perfectly, didn't we? Yeah, nice. it, was, it was barn door. Good job. All right, let's do it. I didn't mess up any of my opinions. After you had made such an emphasis on that, I like really focused on it, but right before going into the station, yeah. I repeated it over and over again. And then So we've been practicing some history taking uh, between each other here in the flat and then I just remembered like I forgot you guys, I forgot you guys in my room. So <laughs> come with me, I don't want to leave you out. I'm not gonna lie, I've been laying down in bed for about an hour just scrolling through social media and relaxing i feel like the oski and then the practice really took it out of me i got really tired but it's time for something different just because i'm not in london doesn't mean i can't still get my exercise in i'm gonna run around the countryside here it's actually really beautiful you run in between a whole bunch of farms there's a lot of wildlife sheep big tractors and things like that i've done it once before and i really really enjoyed it and i regretted not having done it more while i was here so i'm gonna go get a run in and yeah after that do a little bit of prescribing probably with kenji and call it a night day two of exams here we go let's get started Look at this. That is very different than running in central London, surrounded by buildings and cars. What a good change. I'm literally in a movie. Let me slow down so you guys can see this. What? Come on. Come on. Guys, I found them. I found the wildlife. Hey guys, how's it going? Bah! That was horrible. I apologize in advance. That was horrible. New species spotted.
All right, I'll see you later, mate. All right, guys, so I came back from my run, had a shower, just finished eating dinner, and honestly, I am, in Arabic, we say mistwi which means stewed, like a beef stew or a chicken stew or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what, that's what it means. I don't know how else to translate it. But anyways, I'm going to muster up the energy to do a quick bit of prescribing practice with Kenji. Um, it's currently 9 p.m. So I think we'll only be doing this for about half an hour. And then I think I'm gonna get into bed, watch something a bit relaxing, take it easy, and rinse and repeat this whole process tomorrow. But all right, let's wait for Kenji to join. Actually, I'll send him an invitation real quick. Actually, I actually haven't caught up with him since, uh, since the exam. Hey, bro. How's it going? Oh, I'm tired, man. Same seas, man. I'm good, bro. I'm recording you hey. in case you missed my, <laughs> my WhatsApp message. <laughs> less nervous and less anxious than I was yesterday. I feel like since I've done the whole day once, I know I just have to go and do it again, even though I obviously don't know what stations are coming up today, but at least I've been through the experience once. We're expecting a women's health one, so an obstetrics or a gynae station, and then we're expecting another peds, and then either another ATE station or prescribing. Prescribing's definitely gonna come up. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys probably right before and then after. guys day two out of three oski is finished honestly today went really well i think better than yesterday i got some excellent excellent feedback from the examiners so i'm really happy with that and i felt like everything happened so fast that when i was standing outside the station waiting to read the questions my heart was just pounding in my chest boom, 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 boom. and for two of the stations when i was receiving feedback from the examiners who are both consultants in the hospital they both said to me independently on two separate occasions that i should be really proud of myself and that if i was a junior doctor on their team or working in their hospital they would be really happy to have me honestly like i can't describe just how happy that made me feel i honestly almost shed a tear all of the imposter syndrome that i've ever felt over the course of this year just sort of like vanished and left my body what better praise could i ask for it was honestly oh wow it's like a fighter plane and it made me feel really good about all the practice i've done like all the time i've spent in the hospital it's all paid off i think today we're not going to study nearly as much i think we're just kind of done we're actually about to head to the beach yeah you heard that right we're going to a sandy beach to lay in the sun chill out and relax a little bit before tomorrow our final day of exams as fourth year medical students i think i should probably stand up now <laughs> You know, you've okay. never said a word out loud before. You're <laughs> yeah. going to say it, you're like, I Dude, when I said dexamethasone in that station, <laughs> I was like, Demexith, de de dexamethasone? And then I was like, it doesn't matter what the drug is called. <laughs> Guys, look at this. There's like an actual sand dune here in the UK. Rachel says this is very common, but I didn't know this existed. This is my first time on a UK beach ever. And there's like actual sand. It's a bit of a trek. Rachel's making excuses. <laughs> Whoa, mighty impressed. Oh my God, oh my God. Guys, look at this. Whoa, that's crazy. In the UK. Did everyone else know this? Just me, am I the only one who I had no idea this existed here. Must be such a tourist. I am honestly amazed. This is beautiful. It's so flat. Apparently the tide comes all the way out here. That's mad. This is easily a first. I have my final exams of my fourth year of medical school tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day and I'm here on a beach. But you know what? We've done absolutely as much preparation as we possibly can. We feel as ready as we can be and it pays off to clear your head to be in a good mental state before your exams so i'm happy with this look what i found an actual full-on clam yeah it's full as well it might be full of sand though no it's an actual clam yeah okay let's put it back let's put yeah. it back <laughs> save the sea life save the sea life <laughs> All right, 
hiking back to the car. That was absolutely lovely. I'm really happy we came. The absolute cherry on top. It's a beautiful cold slush. And you've got? Uh, mint cornetto. <laughs> <laughs> so weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a mint cornetto. A mint cornetto. Lovely. All right, guys. This is it. Months and months of months of hard work and grinding. Oh, this is the last day. I finished the written test. Hopefully I did well. We'll see when that comes back. And now we've got one final day of OSCEs tomorrow. I'm all out. I'm all out of studying effort. So yeah, that's it. Let's go time. Oh, and then check in with you guys tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Peace. All right, so I'm here with Al Hussein. Hello. Another fourth year medical student here at King's. Mm -hmm. I remember like first year like that, and it's gone by so fast. So. Yeah, yeah. To think about where we were, man. First and second <laughs> year, like trying to remember the order of uh, the presenting the complaint and everything. Not even that. Trying to remember different cells and stuff like that in first year. <laughs> yeah. Like all of that basic anatomy. It's like totally irrelevant now. Not at all irrelevant. It's been good so far. Oskis have been great. Great learning experience. Helps with confidence for, for when we do start, you know, our definitely, final year. Definitely. And, and, and eventually our foundation year. Touch wood, man. Hopefully, <laughs> touch hopefully right, today touch goes well. Yeah. Come on in. Hop on. Hop, hop come on the video. Hi. How are you feeling for the final hey, final yeah. day, final I'm session? I'm just glad it's over. Same. Yeah, yeah. Same. I'm really glad. It's been good it's though. It's gonna fly by. Yeah. Three stations. Da, da, da. Yeah. Heart. I'm excited like to play your games lovely. after as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been talking mad about video games. All right, let's let's get going, man. Let's, let's get going. All right, best of luck, right, guys. See you after the exam. Guys, it's over. I think today, unfortunately, was the worst of the three days. So it's a bit of a shame to finish on like a more negative note. I've discussed it endlessly uh, with Rachel and other people. And I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. We're just gonna pack up now, pack up our stuff, change, get in the car and head back to London and then start final year. Let's go. Hi, can I get um, six chicken nuggets, a medium yeah. meal with a Fanta, and barbecue please? Barbecue. Cheeseburger with fries and a Fanta, okay. but only ketchup and cheese, and six chicken nuggets. Uh, Did we all get Fanta? Yeah, yeah we all got Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to get through the screen. <laughs> oh, some nice fries coming out, mate. Ready when you are. I've made it home. I'm back in my happy place. Oof, it's crazy. My next vlog is gonna start off with me saying that I'm a final year medical student. Absolutely mad. For now, I'm gonna close off this vlog. Thank you so much for joining me on this three day journey while I do my final year med school exams in my fourth year of medical school. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I won't leave you. It's all done. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do, yeah. It's called Karma Medic. <laughs>